All right, YouTube Chrysler Pacifica fans, I'm going to show you on a 2017 Chrysler Pacifica Limited van how to change out the low beam bulb uh, on the uh, passenger side. It took me a while to figure this out, but it's uh, a lot easier than I realized. The first thing you need to do to get access to that bulb is remove this bolt right here with a 10 millimeter socket and once you remove that bolt right there you can take off this windshield washer filler neck it just pops right out and then you remove this rubber cover that's covering the ABS unit okay so I've loosened up that bolt I'll just take that out and then you can pull this filler neck right out, set that aside. And now you can take this rubber cover off the ABS unit. That's the ABS unit. And that gives you easier access to the bulb cover which is really hard to show here. I don't know if I can get the camera in there, but this is the bulb cover right here. And you just turn it a little bit. It's hard to get your hand in there, but you turn it counterclockwise and that bulb cover comes out. Now, I can't really show you what to do here next, but I'm gonna describe it to you because the bulb in here, you can get your hand in there. I can't get my camera down there. But the trick is trying, is understanding how to get that bulb out. And when you're, when you're doing this, you'll be able to see the back of this bulb in that housing. And you'll see that underneath here, there's a connector that connects to that connector there. And if you look at other videos on other cars, in some of these videos, this bulb has a retaining ring that's attached to this flange down here. Uh, in some other cars, there's little clips, little spring clips that push on to the outside of that square body. You see those notches there? Those little notches. And when you're trying to peer into the back of this housing and, and see how to get this bulb out, it's not immediately evident how it's secured in there. And I was afraid I might damage it if I you know, tried the wrong method. But as it turns out, all you have to do is get your fingers in there and turn this bulb about 10 degrees counterclockwise. And that disengages this flange. It's got some little cutouts right there and there. And that'll disengage it. So you reach back in there, twist it a few degrees, it'll pop loose. Now the next problem you run into, the connector that plugs in here is on a really short wire. So you can't pull the bulb way out and then, you know, pop that wire off easily. You have to work within the confines of that housing. You pop this bulb loose, you can move it back about an inch, and then you've got to work that connector off of there and I just kind of very gently pried it off with a screwdriver. And then you can pull the bulb out. Now you take your new bulb and you put it back in the housing. And what you got to do is get this bulb part here into the receptacle and push the bulb into the housing a little bit to be able to get that connector back connected. If you have the bulb completely out of the housing, and reconnect the connector, you'll never be able to get the bulb back in the housing because there's not enough slack on the wire. So you've got to put that bulb partway in there, get the bulb you know, within the, the housing, reconnect your connector, then push it all the way in. And what you'll do, you know, push it all the way in so it's cocked a few degrees counterclockwise. And as you wiggle it, you can feel it kind of drop into position where those little slots 
in that flange, you know, hit their tangs, you'll feel it drop into position. And then you turn it at just a few degrees. It's not a quarter turn. It's not even an eighth turn. It's about half of an eighth or, I don't know, five or 10 degrees. It's all it takes to unlock it. And then when you push it back in, it only takes a few degrees to relock it. So, you know, I'm sorry I couldn't show a better view down in there. But the point is knowing what's going on, especially knowing how to get it out, that unlike other cars that have spring clips that clip on here or some weird little plastic intermediate device that wraps around this flange, this thing just... You just untwist it a couple degrees, pull it out, take off the connector, put the new bulb part way in, reconnect the connector, push it in where it's cocked a few degrees counterclockwise till you feel it drop into position and then tighten it up. And then just button all that back up. It took me quite a while to figure this out because once you pull that dust cover off and you look in there, you can't see very well. And I was peering in there with a mirror and a flashlight and trying to figure out if there was a intermediate plastic lock ring on here, which there's not. It took me a long time to be bold enough to just grab this thing and twist it, but that's how it works. So good luck with that. And then when you're through, you know, just put those few, put your uh, rubber cover and your pipe for your windshield washer you know put that back together it's very simple and it's going to save you the dealer wants a ton of money to do this i got the bulb for 62 bucks on amazon um the dealer wanted you know two three four hundred dollars i think they wanted about 250 just for the bulb alone and then you know 150 or 200 whatever for the labor but once you understand how to do it, it's not that difficult. The access down in there is a little uh, a little tight, but you can get your fingers in there and you can do it and save a lot of money.